So what you're witnessing here is the most broken combo available right now in Ethereum Wars. I'm definitely going to consider this an exploit as there's no way that this is intended behaviour. You're able to beat every single encounter in the game with it with just a single character. On screen here we use 3 just to speed things up but you, you definitely only need 1. The combo is built around the infinite turn exploit using the Void Ranger Eliminator along with the overpowered Cannoneer that makes use of these infinite turns for infinite follow up hits. So the broken interaction here that makes this all work is the Quick Command Chip in combination with the Void Ranger Eliminator's ultimate. So the Quick Command Chip consumes all your skill points after attacking and grants you an extra action. Even though it states that the effect cannot trigger consecutively, we're able to bypass this using the Eliminator's ultimate. The key to setting this up is the following opening. We start off with a basic attack that consumes all our SP but grants us another turn. We then pop our ultimate to grant us another turn on the next two attacks. We then attack again which grants us a new turn via the ultimate. We then take this turn which consumes our SP granting us another turn which recovers our energy to max letting us do the loop all over again. So essentially you want to do a basic attack followed by an ultimate. Once you land the first attack into an ultimate, you can just switch it on to order and let the battle finish. And so where this build gets extra silly is when we introduce the Silvermane Cannoneer into the picture. The Cannoneer's skill has him do a follow up attack whenever his marked target does an attack, and this skill lasts for 2 turns. However, that's 2 turns of the Cannoneers, and because he never takes a turn because the Eliminator has infinite turns, the Cannoneer will never take a turn which gives you infinite follow ups. We can also add in the Supermain Soldier to speed things up as he's got a passive that grants one morale stack to the team for every attack that they do, so this is an easy way to get 60 stacks. So I think this interaction is definitely going to get patched eventually, so you should have fun with it while it lasts. I usually say something here like, hope you like the build, let me know if you found a stronger team comp, but let's be serious, I don't think anything is beating this. 